What we're going to do in this video is first derive the formula for the surface area of a cone. And then we're going to apply it to this, to this problem right over here, to this particular cone that has a height of eight centimeters. We're going to figure out the lateral surface area and the total surface area. So first, let's assign some variables so we could come up with a general formula. And then I'll put these numbers here. So this eight centimeters, we already say that this is the height of this cone. And it's just rearranged a little bit differently. We normally don't see cones sideways like this. Sometimes you see it up down, but this is still a cone. And then the seven centimeters, this is the radius of a, its base. So let's call that equal to r. And to help us visualize at least first the lateral surface area. So that'd be the surface area of the sides of the cone. Let's imagine, let's imagine cutting this cone right over here. And let's just imagine there was no base. And some of you might have done this with a piece of paper. If you do that, and if you were to spread it out and flatten it, what would it look like? Well, you would have part of a circle. It would look kind of like Pac-Man. So it would look something like this. It would look something like this. I'm trying to draw a part of a circle, I'm trying to make it as circular as possible. Now, what do we know about this? Well, if we if we wanted to find this length that I'm highlighting in purple right over here, I guess you could say this part of its perimeter or this part of the entire circle's circumference, what would that length be? Well, that would be this radius, the radius of the base. It makes sense. I have no more edge of that piece of paper. It would be that radius right there. So what is that going to be? Well, we know what the circumference of this base is. It is 2 pi r. So the, this length right over here is going to be 2 pi r as well. Now, what is going to be the entire circumference? If I were to include, if I were to include this part here. Well, to know that, I would have to figure out the radius of this circle. Now, what is the radius of this circle? Well, that radius is going to be this slant height. Essentially, how long did I have to make this cut? It would also be the same thing as this length right over here. Now, how do I figure out that slant height? Well, I could use the Pythagorean theorem. I know that this entire length right over here is h. I know that this base, I guess I could say, or this other side is r. This is a right triangle. And so I could use l for our slant height. We know that l squared is going to be equal to r squared plus h squared by the Pythagorean theorem, or that l is equal to the square root of r squared plus h squared. Now L, as we just mentioned, as we just imagined, if we were to cut it out, that would be this radius. That would be that. So what would be the area of, let me do this in a new color, of just this part, just this part that I'm kind of shading in in the salmon color? Well, the area of the entire circle would be pi times the radius of the entire circle squared. So that would be pi l squared. But we aren't thinking about the entire circle. We're thinking about the part of it that forms the Pac-Man. And so what would that be? Well, that would be the ratio of this pink circumference, or this pink parameter, I guess I could say, the 2 pi r. So it would be times 2 pi r over the entire circumference, over the entire of the entire thing. So if you were to take, go all the way if we were to go all the way around, that circumference is going to be 2 pi times L. I want you to really think about what this is. Pi L squared, that would be this entire area. But if, if that were, if we were looking at that, then we wouldn't have a cone. There wouldn't be a, if, if we didn't have this cutout here, you wouldn't be able to pop the top up. We always know that this radius of the base to form the cone it has to have a smaller value than the slant height. And so we know that this purple part of our entire circumference is not going to be the entire circumference. And so the area that we're thinking about right now, it's the ratio of the purple part, the purple circumference, or the part of the circumference, to the entire circumference of this circle. And if we look at that, this is going to get us this is this L squared. One of those L's will cancel out right over there. The two pi's cancel out. We have pi times our slant height times our radius. Or another way to think about it, because this is going to be equal to pi. We know our slant height, or I'll write pi times our radius, and our slant height, I've just switched the order here. The slant height is R squared plus A squared. Now in this particular example, this would be pi 
times seven times the square root of 49, that's seven squared, plus eight squared, plus 64, which is equal to seven, let me write it this way, seven times the square root of 113 pi. And if I wanted to write that, well, I'll just leave it there, and I, let me get the units there, that would be square centimeters. You could also put that into a calculator, and if, if they said round to the nearest unit, you could round. But this is a more exact answer of the lateral surface area. Just if we were to go around the side of the cone. And then if you want the total surface area, you just have to add the area of the base. And we've done that for many, many years. The area of this base is just pi r squared. So if you wanted the total surface area of a cone, it would be the base pi r squared plus the lateral surface area. I could use this formula or that top one pi r times the square root of r squared plus h squared. In this case, r squared is 49. So it'd be 49 pi plus all this business, which we already figured out, plus seven times the square root of 113 pi square centimeters.